Well, one of the things they told me was that um, he brought, we were, he was at the house one night, and uh, we were talking, he was talking, and he started laughing. He said, Aaron, what do you think women's liberation was about? And uh, I said, I, I had pretty conventional thinking about it at that point. I said, I think it's about women having the right to work, getting equal pay with men, just like they won the right to vote, you know? And he started to laugh. He said, you're an idiot. And I said, why am I an idiot? He said, you want, let me tell you what that was about. We, the Rockefellers, funded that. We funded Women's Lib, you know? And we're the ones who got all over the newspapers and television, the Rockefeller Foundation. He says, and you want to know why? He says, there were two primary reasons. And they were, one reason was, we couldn't tax half the population before Women's Lib. And the second reason was, now we get the kids in school at an early age. We can indoctrinate the kids how to think. So it breaks up their family. The, the kids start looking at the state as the family, as the school, as the officials, as their family, not as the parents teaching them. And so those are the two prim the primary reasons for women's live, which, which I thought up to that point was a noble thing. You know, when I saw their intentions behind it, where they were coming from when they created it, the thought of it, I saw, I saw the evil behind what I thought was a noble adventure. Uh, yeah. Aaron, did you know that Gloria Steinem, in one of her own books, now admits the CIA funded Miss Magazine? No, I had no idea about that. No, I never heard that. Yeah, we're gonna the CIA funded Miss Magazine. Funded Miss Magazine with the stated goal of taxing women and breaking up the family. No kidding. I never heard that. Well, Nick told me. I mean, I mean, I know it, but not because I know the CIA was involved in it. Well, she, Gloria Steinem, was proud of it. Oh, the CIA wanted to help me help women. No and, kidding. And so they funded it, yeah. And, and of course, it's divide and conquer. Right, and, and of course. And what they do is they focus in, obviously, on real problems. Women were getting shafted in many ways, but the elite didn't, wasn't planning to help them. They were planning to really shaft them and take men away from them. Look at what they did with black families. You only had about 10% illegitimacy 50 years ago uh, in black communities, and now it's over 90%. And look at welfare. You were going to give you some money, but you can't have a man in the house. Right. And, and so that was further to degrade the family. Yeah. Totally destroyed. Uh, and, and, and now illegitimacy is over 50% in the general population. Right. Well, see, the whole thing is, is they, these people control the money, so they make all the rules, you understand? And, and they put whatever rules they want into effect. And the truth is, America has really become a socialist, communistic country. And nobody, everybody says it's a capitalist country. It's not a capitalist country. You know, how can it be capitalistic when you have a central bank? <laughs> That's the first, you can't, it can't be, you know? The it's a planned economy. It's a plan to kind. It's, it's it's a phony. If they want to create prosperity, they just print dollars. They just make dollars or put digits into the economy, and they, and then now you have prosperity. You don't have real prosperity. You don't have real manufacturing. You just have you just have money being injected in. It's an infusion of credit, which only being, makes the government go into more debt. Into more debt. But the point the point the point I'm trying to make is that by creating this Federal Reserve system. The government now became dependent on these private banks for money. And they started take, taxing us, you see. And so now, now what happens is that um, in 35, I believe it was, Social Security started. And they gave Social Security cards, said not to be used for identification, the Social Security number right on the card, right? And through Social Security, they started deducting money out of your, out of your paycheck. That was the first time they were ever take, could take money out of your paycheck because people agreed to it because they thought it was going to the retirement fund. And so then when they instituted the income tax again, they started taking money out of your paycheck because Social Security could do it. So then, then they could do it again. You see what I'm saying? And so now they've even taken control of the tax, the, the tax payment itself. I mean, literally like you're a slave, they're right. taking it right there when you make it. Exactly. They don't even trust the public enough to, to go send them a check. Themselves. Yeah. Right. So they take it out automatically because they know people aren't going to want to pay it. So what's happened is that through the implementation of the Federal Reserve System, the government has become uh, vested in these bankers and they get their money from the bankers. And so then they impose a tax on us, which makes us more slaves, makes it more difficult for us to survive, right? Giving them more profits. And now what's happened is that uh, through the, the, the Federal Reserve System, the bankers have pretty much taken control of our government. It doesn't matter Republican and Democrat anymore because they're both the same. Neither one of them are talking about shutting down the Federal Reserve System or stopping the payment of taxes, you know, 
uh, or any of the big issues that face Americans, right? So uh, I had a friend, Nick Rockefeller, okay, who was one of the Rockefeller family, and he, uh, uh, when I was running for governor in Nevada, he came to me, introduced himself to me through an attorney, and uh, we became friends. We started talking about things, and um, I learned an awful lot from Mr. Rockefeller. And one of the things that we used to talk about was the ultimate plan of the banking industry, what they wanted to accomplish. And the goals of the uh, banking industry, not, not just the Federal Reserve System, but the private banks in Germany and England, all over Italy, all over the world, they all work together. They're all central banks. And they're, and they're all part of the Communist Manifesto. You know, central banking is one of the major planks of the Communist Manifesto. We talk about America being a capitalistic country, but yet at the same time we have a central bank that plans everything for us, right? And the graduated income tax is another plank of the Communist Manifesto, right? So right there you have two major planks of the Communist Manifesto that have been brought in because of the Federal Reserve System, okay? So uh, the ultimate goal that these people have in mind is the goal to um, create a one world government run by the banking industry, run by the bankers. Where, and, and they're doing it in sections. The, the European currency, the euro, and, and the European constitution is one part of it. Now they're trying to do it in America with the North American Union, right? And they want to create a new currency called the Amero, right? And uh, the, whole, the, the whole agenda is to create a one world government where everybody has an, R, R, an RFID chip implanted in them, all money is to be um, in those chips, right? There'll be no more cash. And this is getting me straight from Rockefeller himself. This is what they want to accomplish. And all money will be in your chips. And so, any, so not, instead of having cash, anytime you have money in your, in, your, in your chip, they can take out whatever they want to take out whenever they want to. If they say you owe us this much money in taxes, they just deduct it out of your chip digitally. Total control. Total control. And if you're like me or you, and you're protesting what they're doing, they can just turn off your chip. And you have nothing. You can't buy food. You can't do anything. It's total control of the people. And that chip's connected to a database that has your purchasing records, what you do, what Everything, you everything is in there, you know? And so they, they want a one world government controlled by them, Everybody being chipped, all your money in those chips, and they control the chips, and they control people, and you become a slave, you become a serf to these people. That's their goal, that's their intentions.